Hey, look, you can see my, <laughs> my hockey puck. You guys should check out that video. <laughs> So these are the ones I was just talking about. See how thin they are? They're shitty. Fuck that. I'm sorry my like footage is super shaky, but I'm trying to get this here. You can see the little like the slit that's right there. That's what I'm trying to like wedge into. So we got our PVM, comes into like a triangle, like a teardrop. Right. Okay, so that is what it's looking like right now. And literally just made it bolted on. This was probably, 10 times faster than it was to get these <laughs> ones on. It was such a pain in the ass. So, uh, so far, recommend the fuck out of these. <laughs> and then note to self, when you guys install these, there's gonna be an open side. It's gonna be like a C shape. Make sure that C shape is facing the front of the car. And the reason being, these push the steering rack forward, like, I wanna say like a quarter inch, if that so you get more uh, angle out of your knuckle setup. Um, so yeah, make sure that C-shape is facing that way, the open, the open side. <laughs> we'll show you guys on the next one what, what I mean by that. Why did I choose? to start a car channel. It is so expensive. It's so dirty. I mean, regardless, I'd be getting down here and dirty, but. I have so many jokes for what you just said. So oh, this is what I was talking about, the C shape that the bushings are in. This open space is so the rack can move forward. That's why it's so thin right here and thick back here. So, what are they called? They're like thick. Rack. <laughs> They're like rack offsets. Basically. I don't fucking know. PBM sells them, that's all I know. Stop trying to get all into it. Y'all can research your shit. Okay? Go to PBM. Y'all okay. can research your damn shit. Hey y'all, so you know how this is your life, right? That's your body, that's your mind. You make your decisions for what? Your life. Be addictive to bettering your life. You feel me? Don't be content when you can have better. You know what I'm saying? It's only right. That's that. Ooh, yeah, good angle. All done. That's it? <laughs> fucking dead serious. We're fucking done. <laughs> We're literally done We're, with this? Yeah, just put that one in now. Where? I can't see anything. Okay. Here. Wait, I could see from here. Where am I putting it? Slim. In here? Slim part. Yeah, go. can tell you guys i think it took us how long the took, last time with those polyurethane bushings it was like three four hours it took us yeah because we ended up getting stuck i think pulling was it pulling it out and yeah. putting it in <laughs> that's what she said no but we we for real like we got stuck with the the one that's on the driver's side the teardrop one um trying to take out the stock ones and trying to put in those polyurethane ones like the red ones I just showed you. Recommend so far. We just have to test drive next. So that's what it looks like so far. It looks pretty good. Yeah. Some videos is like not being able to locate where things are, like when someone's working on a car. Like for me at least, because I'm still learning, like I probably wouldn't necessarily know where these steering rack pushings are. So I'm gonna take you guys on a little cruise. So 
I kind of showed you guys the uh, motor mounts. And then basically what we used was, it was a 17 millimeter uh, socket to take these bolts out. You are gonna need an extension. So from the motor mount, you'll see LCA and you literally just come across here and that's that. So one and two and it's right up here. Fuck, I can't really get a good view, but yeah. For those of you who don't know. Oh, also I'm gonna throw this in. This is a little update on the rear. We did try to bang out a lot of this. I actually did try to record a vlog. My phone just broke and it took a shit on me. And so I ended up getting a new one and all that footage is gone. Um, so we took out the welds. Basically, you try and find where the welds are. Example, this one. And it's like a little metal weld cutter and it just like drills around it. I honestly forget what it's called, but yeah so it takes off these welds and we we're trying to bang it back into place somewhat yeah that's just a little update for you guys i got a new trunk coming in soon and you know baby steps so yeah that's all we got <laughs> bonus footage we're about to do some spark plugs for those of you who maybe don't know how even though there's probably a bazillion trillion gazillion um, videos on how to do these. What is that? It's a spark plug socket. A 5 8 spark plug socket. It has a rubber piece inside so it hooks on to the spark plug. So you guys heard it yourself. And if for some reason you guys have a socket and it doesn't have the rubber piece inside, just grab like a drinking straw and shove it on the tip of the spark plug and that'll pull it out after it's loose. See? It has a rubber piece inside and it holds the tip of the spark plug. Yeah. Stop now.